Have you seen how female celebrities rock the Met Gala with makeup, glossy hair, and magnificent tiaras? No wonder how we wait impatiently for the first Monday of May. However, these tiaras may be nothing compared to their most valuable counterparts. Join us as we unveil the world's top 10 unbelievably expensive tiaras. Make sure to watch the whole video. We've saved the most expensive tiaras for the end of the video. Welcome back to Jewelry News, where you enjoy the most spectacular jewelry updates. Before we begin, like and subscribe to stay up to date about the latest jaw-dropping jewelry pieces. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Turn on the bell icon to receive notifications about upcoming videos. Without much ado, let's start at number 10 on our list. Number 10. Furstenberg Black & Steel Tiara This fancy black and steel with diamonds tiara was designed by Cartier and made by Henry Peake in 1912. It was presented to Princess Franziska Ida Mina of Furstenberg as a gift by her husband, Prince Karl Egon von Furstenberg, on their 1921 royal marriage. The black and steel and diamond tiara was later inherited by the Furstenberg family in 1961. In 2019, the tiara was auctioned for $536,000 at Sotheby's. Three years later, the jewel fetched $542,000 at Christie's. Other wares of this magnificent circulet include Lebanese jeweler Noor Faris, Eugenie Nicaros, founder of the Venix jewelry brand, Andrew Prince of Andrew Prince Jewelers, Kimberly Smith, and Kathy Top. Is there another valuable black steel and diamond tiara on our list? Let's find out. Number 9. Duchess of Roxburgh Tiara In May 2019, this unsigned diamond tiara sold for a whopping $848,000 at Sotheby's auction. The decorative headdress was designed toward the end of the 19th century and was among the properties of the Estate of Mary. It's a multifunctional piece that serves as both a headwear and a necklace. Warning: Don't watch the rest of the video if you're phobic of huge figures. The dollars right here are exponentially rising. Number 8. Diamond Tiara from the Bourbon Parma Royal Collection Hubner Designed in 1912 by an Austrian jeweler Hubner, this fleur-de-lis tiara sold for a massive $968,000 at Sotheby's in November 2018. This tiara was created for the Archduchess Maria Anna of Austria, the wife of Prince Elias, Duke of Parma. It's made with diamonds once owned by Elias's great-great-grandfather, King Charles X of France, who reigned between 1824 and 1830. The fleur-de-lis represents the various branches of the House of Bourbon. They can be removed and worn as brooches. Before we move on to the next number, would you tell us whether you have worn or touched a tiara? If yes, when and where? Number 7. The Rare Aquamarine and Diamond Tiara Fabergé This tiara sold for $1,107,000 at Christie's Geneva in May 2019. According to the auction house, this rare Belle Epic Aquamarine and Diamond Tiara was gifted to Princess Alexandra of Hanover and Cumberland by Frederick Francis IV, Grand Duke of Mecklenburg-Schwerin at their royal wedding. The Grand Duke's mother, the Grand Duchess Anastasia Mikhailovna of Russia, encouraged him to wed young, and the marriage ceremony was set up for June 1904, when Frederick was barely 22 years old, while his fiancée Alexandra was 21. However, there was untimely communication between the Duke and Fabergé jewelry collectors, which delayed the creation of the gift. This delay prompted the princess to wear the traditional Hanover and nuptial crown during her wedding. Her gift, however, followed a month later. Let's continue with the next tiara on our list. Number 6. Pearl and Diamond Tiara, Garard This 29.7cm circumference tiara sold for $1,300,000 at Christie's London in June 2017. The tiara was developed around 1878 and is fitted with an inner case by R&S Gerard & Company. It's the property of a private collector. Like many other tiaras, this piece can be put on a few ways. The seven drop-shaped natural pearls can be separated and reshaped to create six brooches that can be worn alone. And if you think that Gerard's pearl and diamond tiara was expensive, then you must see the outrageous price of the next one on our list. Number 5. Duchess of Roxburgh Tiara, Cartier The Duchess of Roxburgh gifted this Cartier diamond tiara to his bride, Lady Mary Evelyn Hungerford Crew Million, during their wedding in 1935. Two years later, the Duchess became Queen Elizabeth's attendant, and thereafter, the Queen Mother at the coronation of George VI. Unfortunately, Roxburgh's marriage didn't work, and the two broke up in 1953. The tiara was sold for $2,588,000 at Sotheby's Geneva in May 2015, following the death of Lady Mary Evelyn in 2014. It's important to have that sense of family pride and honor. 
And if there's one memorable tiara made for this purpose, it was number four, the Marat tiara, Chaumet. Sold for a gigantic $3.8 million at Sotheby's Geneva on May 2012, this tiara was a true definition of family honor and dignity. It marked the restoration of Joaquin Murat's reign, who was executed in 1815. His descendant, Prince Alexander's father, His Imperial Highness Prince Joachim, bought this glory. And when Ivan Guillot, from a family with strong Napoleonic and horse racing connections, married Prince Alexander, there was no other remarkable way of honor rather than by gifting her beautiful and valuable jewels. So Prince Alexander ordered this magnificent tiara alongside other jewels from the Parisian jewel Joseph Chalmat in 1920. The iconic tiara was made up of natural eye-catching pearls and diamonds, which brought memories of heroic Marat. Now, if you want to know how far celebrities can go, keep watching. Number 3. Mike Todd Diamond Tiara Although the popular actress Elizabeth Taylor wasn't new to jewels, this circa 1880 diamond tiara made an unforgettable impression in her life. It was a gift from her third husband, Mike Todd, in 1957. You're my queen and I think you should have a tiara, Mike wrote to his wife as he sent in the gift. And for the tiara's stunning beauty, Elizabeth wore it on several occasions. The most memorable one was the Academy Awards, where Todd won an Oscar for his work on Around the World in 80 Days, as well as the Cannes Film Festival. Sadly, Todd died in a plane crash merely a year after they were married. The antique diamond tiara sold for a record-breaking $4.2 million at Christie's in New York in May 2011. If you thought Mike Todd's tiara was expensive, watch out for number two on our list. Number two, Queen Elizabeth's Belgian Sapphire Tiara. Estimated value? Six million dollars. This headpiece is also known as the Victorian Sapphire Tiara, and so it's no surprise that Queen Elizabeth has been photographed wearing the jewels together for the 2020 Canadian portrait. The tiara was fashioned from a necklace worn by Princess Louise of Saxe Coburg and Gotha in the 19th century. And the most expensive tiara on our list is number one, Henkel von Donnersmark Tiara. This circa 1900 emerald and diamond tiara was formerly in the collection of Princess Katharina Henkel von Donnersmark, a member of the German noble family. It's considered one of the most magnificent tiaras to exist outside of a royal or museum collection. The tiara has massive emeralds that weigh more than 500 carats and are thought to have come from Empress Eugenie of France's collection. Despite being unsigned, the jewel is thought to be by Chalmay. It became the most expensive tiara ever sold at auction after fetching $12.7 million at Sotheby's Geneva in May 2011. That's it for this video. What's your opinion about the world's top 10 unbelievably expensive tiaras? Let us know in the comments section below. Also, let us know your favorite expensive tiara from the list. We hope you enjoyed this video. Give us a thumbs up, join our channel by subscribing so we can update you about the latest jaw-dropping jewelry pieces. On your screen, select one of these videos and we're looking forward to seeing you in the next one.